Hello everyone and welcome back to a another video. We are here um, and this is my first remod review actually on Farming Simulator 2019. Today we're going to be looking at a variety of mods. We have, first off, we have the, uh, what is this called again? The Expendables 2019 Chevy K30. Um, it's a... Uh, it's a uh, 1979. Then we have the Dodge Ram 3500. This is the revised version. We have a John Deere 4440 pullover, as well as a semi tipper, and then a floodlight trailer. So, without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? So, this first vehicle is either you can actually change it from a Chevy to or a GMC. It's very nice. The interior is very nice and clean. All working gauges, working steering wheel, etc. Let's hop out real quick and let me show you the options in the store. So when you go to buy it in the store under cars, it will be Expendables 19 um, Chevy K30 Bail Loader 1979. So once you open up it to it, it has a variety of options. It comes with a body, so you can change that from new, no trims, old timer, old timer, no trims, and then just new. So side, side steps, you can either have with or without. Plow mount is you can have with or without as well. And then the brand decals, you can either have Chevy or GMC. You can change the colors on the flatbed, the main color as well, the rim color, and the stripe color, which will be right there. Uh, this has a max speed of 74 miles per hour, has 80 liters of gas and 200 horsepower. It'll cost you $31,200. So let's take a spin um, in it real quick. It also has a gooseneck uh, attachment as well. Nice sounds on it as well, custom, I believe. Perfect, and I'll just bring up the uh, speed gauge so I can show you guys what it looks like. Working um, gauges as well. I mean, working uh, lights as well. Backlights as well. Perfect. It runs pretty well. Uh, very, pretty good uh, fast model here. And the brakes are good as well. Now we will see how uh, how it turns to a hill. It takes it pretty well. It's very realistic. It's um, it's not overly fast. You can see the black exhaust smoke coming out of the pipe right there. Oh my goodness! Normano needs to learn how to drive. But perfect. Let's bring it back and put it back into the shop. Good handling. Very good handling. Perfect, now we're going to be looking at the Dodge Ram 3500, and this is a revised version. So, you hop in it, and it also has a gooseneck, um, gooseneck attacher and a tr uh, an attacher for uh, hydraulic, uh, hydraulic hitch. Apologize. And the tailgate will go up and down as well. It, you can also raise it up and down as well. And you have the ability to open the doors, or open the driver's side door, I apologize. Now, once you go into it, uh, you buy it from the car section, 2019 Ram 3500 Cummins, $82,999. You can change the colors. Uh, bumpers and gear, you can have chrome, chrome everything, chrome match bumpers, chrome match grill, and something else. Color matched option two, and chrome everything. You can have multiple different engine setups as well. You can also have a <clears throat> plow on it uh, under engine setup. Wheel setup, you have multiple different wheel setup. You also have the ability to... It's only a dually. And perfect off-road tires, it looks like. Stuff like that as well. $82,999. Perfect. And it is the interior is very nice as well. Lights, uh, I believe. You can have loaders as well. Working turn signals. Perfect. And as you can tell, the door, you can see that it's open on the side here. You can even open it while driving, but we're not going to do that. It does get a decent speed here. And the brakes are very good as well. Backup lights when reversing. And it also does have a hitch on the back. All the links to the mods are down in the description, by the way, guys, if you want to use them by yourself. That is the purpose of this video. Um, so, yeah, let's bring it back to the shop. Top speed of... So, oh my goodness, and it does flip as well, just so you guys know. Perfect, and next up, we have a John Deere 4400 quad range. Now, this is um, this is very nice. Honestly, I really do like it. Uh, working lights, 
backlights as well. Working. Well, the only the there's a slight issue with it when you click the option for to take a left hand turn. It does put the hazard lights on, and the right turn signal does not work. So it's only hazard lights. Interior, very nice as well. Perfect. So let's check it out in the store. So you go to medium tractors, and you scroll over to you all the way down. John Deere 4400, $34,199. You can have weights on the front of the vehicle as well, up to 1,100 pounds and beginning at, I mean, 1,300 pounds and beginning at 300 pounds. Design, you can have rollover protection. And that is it. Engine setup, you can have power shift and quad range. Front loader attacher is optional as well. Wheel setup, you can have a, a dually or not. And then there's or one big tire as well too. So multiple different options there. Rear twin wheels. Max speed of 26 miles per hour. And it costs $38,699 and $1,973 to, to, uh, yeah, to lease. So let's bring it in with... Let's drive it around. So we will just, we're will we just not going to take it as far as we did the other one, but we are going to take it a decent distance here. Don't worry about that truck right there. Perfect. It does drive very well. handles nicely as well. I do like the exhaust. Um, the first person view is very nice too. It's very open and clean. It looks good. This is the max speed here. Brakes are good. Perfect. Let's turn it around. Let's see how it handles this. Uh, this is a tiny hill, so we're not going to be able to get that much of a idea of things. But it looks like it does handle this little tiny hill pretty well. So that is very good. Let's bring it back into the shop. And next we have this BSM trailer. So this trailer is very nice. It's, it's, it's pretty big as well um its capacity is let's check it out so if you go into trailers you can go to you under trailers and then you go all the way to the right and you can see it's a bsm trailer semi tip for seventy thousand liter capacity sixty nine thousand dollars is the cost of so you can change the colors rim colors uh main colors and then you can also change the design color which is the color of something i'm just not exactly sure what oh the bottom here the frame for it uh, it costs $72,500 with all these op options. Wheel brand, you can have Lizard, um, Trellberg, Michelin, or... Yeah, that's it. And then you can have wheel set up with Trellberg is wide tires and Michelin uh, wide tires as well. Design, you can have the oversized load option. You can also have Convoy, Lang Cow, which I'm not sure what that means. But with the Convoy, you have... Uh, you actually, you have the ability to attach multiple clippers to each other with a dolly attachment on it. So yes, that is a that is a very good option as well. That kind of um, makes it very versatile to everything like that. Well, perfect. Let's just get into a semi truck right here. And this this semi truck is not a part of the mod, by the way. I'm just using this for demonstration purposes. Once you back up to it, you have the you get underneath and you can attach. We the uh, stands goes up right there. And you also have the ability to open the cover of it. And once you, when you tip it, you have the ability to tip a green door back and then the green door as well. So yes, that is very good. Once when it tips, it goes kind of up in the air. Lights all working, all functional. BSM always puts out very good mods. This is on the official Giants mod hub as well. Right, left, uh, left bumper, right bumper. I mean, <laughs> left one right bumper and we also have a beacon light right there as well and you have the ability to attach multiple trailers as i said so we're just going to take it for a little spin i'll show you guys a view of when i haul it so it works very well easy to control um not that hard to back up as well so let's pull this bad boy in and let's take a look at our final mod so this final mod is a floodlight trailer now this trailer comes with multiple different options it works very well as it works very good uh, we're going to use the Chevrolet. See, I don't know why I said Chevrolet, but we're going to use the Chevy to to, uh, to examine it, kind of attach it, see what it does. But anyways, this is a floodlight trailer. You go under tools, and you go all the way to MISC. You go to the right, and it's Lizard Floodlight Trailer. This floodlight trailer has four different, or a couple different options for design. First, it has two bottom lightings, which is the um, like lighting options for it. 
and then four lighting spots, two bottom lighting, and then two top lighting. You can do whatever you want. And then design, you can have a beacon light on the back of it or not a beacon light. You can change the color of the mainframe to black or red or purple, whatever you want. It costs $9,360. Initial leasing cost is $477. So let's get into the truck and we will attach to it and see what this bad boy can do. So when you back up to it, you pull up right nice close to it and then you get the ability to attach. It does kind of run a little bit low. Uh, wait, it does kind of run a little bit higher. So trucks with trucks like this kind of have trouble um, with it. It does work though because it does come off the ground. But anyways, let's unfold the light trailer. And when you unfold it, that those come out and then it all goes down. So the ability to it can go up and down. And now you have the ability to. Oh my goodness! Sorry, that was the truck. I do apologize about that. Or wait, no, that was not the truck. You can turn each um each little you can turn each of these lights here so that one can go that way and then that one that one can go that way and then you can either and then you can also choose this is actually not a part of the mod i do apologize about that but anyways and then you can choose this one up and down and this one left and right up and down as well you can change it, stuff like that. And now, you also have the ability to lift it all the way up in the air. That goes, that is the maximum height of it. You can turn it like that as a whole. And when you detach, it does also stay on as well. So it's kind of like a, um, kind of like an old little generator that doesn't need connecting connection to the truck. So that is very nice, guys. Thank you all for watching this video. Uh, that is going to be it. If you guys want more of these videos, let me know down in the description. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys do and did enjoy. Have a good one, and take it easy. Peace.